Hi friends, this is Patty Bennett. How are you? I have a fun video for you today. I am going to show you the before and after of this whole area here where I craft. This is my stamping loft and I have redone this entire countertop and all of the storage that sits in front of me. So you are going to see the before and after. But for those of you who are new and maybe who don't know me, just wanted to quickly introduce myself. My name is Patty Bennett. I have been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for over 27 years, long time. And I just love to craft. I love to make cards. I love to share them with you. I have a blog at pattystamps.com. I think, gosh, I think I've blogged there for, I don't know, 15 years? Probably should have looked that up. Long time. I have over 400 videos here for you on my YouTube channel, and I do weekly live crafting videos on my Facebook page, and then I put them here for replays. So you've probably found me there, maybe on my Instagram. You've I'm sure you've found me somewhere before, but if you're new, welcome. So I wanted to just touch briefly on the Stampin' Storage products that I used here in this video because some of you may not be familiar with them. In this YouTube video, if you look below the video in the description, I will link to this company. It's different than Stampin' Up! So Stampin' Up! is the product, like the cardstock, the markers, the ink, the blender brushes, all of those things, all of the stamp sets up there, my dies, those are the products that I use from Stampin' Up! But to store, specifically like those brushes, the paper, the designer paper, and then in front of me what you're going to see in the video, my ink pads and other supplies, that is from a company called Stamp and Storage. So it's stamp-n-storage. And I have used their products for many, many, many years. Behind me, you can see that I have my cardstock and designer paper stored in their paper storage units. So for many years since they started, they offered their products in just a natural wood finish. So you can see there, they're just sort of a very light colored wood but recently they started offering them in white. So they are the same units, but painted white. And the paint job, let me tell you, is impeccable. It's beautiful. It's, it's just gorgeous. I love it. So that's what you're going to see in this video. I decided to kind of splurge and treat myself, and I purchased three new units that you're going to see here in white and it makes such a difference right in front of me. It's nice and bright and beautiful. So you'll see the before, the mess, like I'm showing it all. It's kind of scary to look back at the before picture, but you're going to see it all. And then you're going to see my process as I got things out, organized them where I put them away, and then filling up the new white unit. So I just wanted to give you a little overview of where we're headed with this quick video. It was only 10 minutes before this intro, so it's not long, and I think you'll find it helpful. And if you would like to shop for either Stampin' Up! products or Stampin' Storage products, or visit me at pattystamps.com. You will find all of those links below this YouTube video. I do appreciate your support of my Stampin' Up! business, and I hope that you enjoy my weekly videos as well as these extra videos. Okay, so here we go. Okay, friends, this is it. Are you ready for some true confessions? I'm gonna show you the before of my desk where I sit. What you're seeing there is what's behind me when I sit to create, but I'm going to flip the camera. This is true confession time because I'm going to spend this weekend redoing. All right, so this is where I create. And I love my space, and I know right now Three quarters of you are probably going, oh my gosh, it's so much stuff. It's too much stuff. I actually really love having my stuff around me. I love having things within arm's reach. But 
it's a bit out of control. I've got too many things out. And I am going to be redoing my stamp and storage pieces into the new white pieces that I've ordered. I'll show you those. And yeah, I don't know. Over here is my paper and my DSP, my cardstock DSP, card bases, and brushes. And then, of course, all my drawers with, you know, stuff, all the stuff, all the things. So yeah, I'm going to redo this. And this is true confession time. <laughs> Stay tuned. These are the stamp and storage pieces that I purchased in white. So I'm starting with three of the shelf type units. One for ink pads, two for stamp sets and other supplies. I also bought this wide creative crate. It's about nine and three quarter inches or nine and a half inches wide. And this great plastic storage bin with dividers. I have a six by six size, but this is a rectangle. Yep, so this is what I will be putting upstairs in my loft. Hey friends, so I thought I'd do a little check-in. This is kind of, I guess, what I'm considering day one of organizing and cleaning up and redoing my desk. So really before redoing my desk, I really needed to, look at this, look at all that space. I needed to take all of my retired sets off of the shelf that's behind me so that I could get some of the stuff that's in front of me where it goes. <laughs> So I'm going to turn you around and show you just real quickly just a little bits of what I've been working on today. All right, so over here in this section right here, all of this was full of dies that needed to be put away behind me where I keep my dies. So I did that and I had kind of a stack of stuff here that I just cleaned up. So that was good. And I know, still a mess over here, still a mess. Uh, you can see I still haven't cleaned up right here from my live, so I have to do that. And I need to get through this stack of miscellaneous stuff and all of this junk here. I'm gonna just sort through each little section and then I can replace these natural wood Stampin' Storage organizers with the white ones that are downstairs. So that's my job for this afternoon. Right now it's noon and I'm hungry and I need lunch. <laughs> so I'm going to have lunch. Um, oh, my dies. So right there, that's where I keep all my dies that are current and my embossing folders, my, um, stamp cut and emboss machine <laughs> and then I do have an electric one for when I do like a mass die cutting of things that um, I do here you know I have my die cutting fairy that does a lot for me but um, yeah that's I do have that when I do stuff here so anyway that's the progress so far little bits at a time cleaning out I'm gonna put some stamp sets here first and then go through the rest of these little piles on my desk and then I can bring the white goodies upstairs. So excited. Okay, so I'll check in later. Okay, so had lunch and got back to sorting. Thought I would just fill you in on what I did. So up there you can see that I've filled in a little bit and I have taken several of the stamp sets that were here on my desk and put them up there. I know I've explained this in previous videos, but my system basically is that when I get new stamp sets from a new catalog, I like to keep them here on my desk so that I can make sure that I'm using them. I like to be able to see them and make sure that they're right here. And so now that I've used several of them a lot, then they can go up there. So that's what I did. And then let me flip you around to show you what I did down. So on my desk, 
I have, you can see, I've taken things out of those other Stampin' Storage shelves. And I have sorted. And so I've gone through things and I've tried to put everything that kind of goes together, together. And I've sorted through and I've filled up my waste basket, filled up my recycle bin. <laughs> and you can see that all of the stamp sets and whatnot that were over here are now gone and put away where they need to be. Now, this stuff isn't staying right here. This is just pulled out and so that I could work on it and organize it, like get all of the um, twine together and get all of my adhesives together and just make sure that all my die cuts and all my embellishments are all organized. All my little extra dishes and whatnot for watercoloring and sorting pieces and then all my bottles for alcohol and water. And I mean rubbing alcohol. <laughs> So those are ready to go back and be organized. And now I am ready to bring the white pieces up and replace these pieces. So that's what I'm going to do next. Well, friends, this is the after. It's done and I love it. I love the white and I was worried that only purchasing those three pieces wouldn't be enough for what I wanted to store on my desk, but it's absolutely perfect and I love it. I just thought I would walk you through just briefly what I have. So right in front of me, of course, are my ink pads and my Stampin' Blends because those are the two things I use the most. Um, yeah, I just like them at my fingertips. And then this I've shown you before. This is a Boon, B-O-O-N organizer. It's kind of like PVC pipe type things put together, but it just stores all my essentials. I have a few blocks that I use the most in front of me. My glue, my adhesives, and of course, my embellishment caddy that I just love so much. I've talked about that in other videos, but I just love having these things out at my fingertips. So on the right side over here, that houses some stamp sets that I use quite often, like Biggest Wish, Go To Greetings. Those are things that I use a lot, so I thought I would just keep them there for the time being. Like I said, my blends and my ink pads in front of me. And then over on this side, this is where I have been keeping holiday catalog or occasions catalog sets, things that are new that I want to use soon. So I have them there in front of me. And I decided to move my little caddy with all of my die cut labels into that cubby because there was room and it gave me a little more space on my desk and I have shown this before as well but I love that little it's actually a lipstick holder but I use it for all of my sponge daubers so that's over there on top and then I freed up all this space over here where I had extra stamp sets that needed to be put away other dyes and whatnot that had to be put away so right here, I just kept all of the holiday catalog dies on the left so that they coordinate with those, those <laughs> stamp sets. So they're all just right there ready to use. And I have cello bags and whatnot out that I just use quite often. And I did put my markers up here because I don't use the stamp and write markers as much and I felt like they did not need to be right in front of me so I did move those and we'll see how I like it but there's the view so there's where I will work and create and film my videos and do my lives and I love it so stamp and storage great job on offering the white I absolutely love it and hopefully sometime I will replace other pieces that I have into the white, but um, you know, they all work. And so I think I will just stick with this and I am going to enjoy crafting in my new bright white space. 
Thanks for joining me, everyone.